Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your December 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, before we begin, let me just say that this reading is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in for each and every Aquarius people out there, so just keep that in mind as we go along. I would advise to listen to your own intuition as we go with this reading, and leave everything if you don't feel connected to it. Especially since I would say that this is quite of a difficult reading. Well, not exactly difficult. I just feel that this reading has a mix of both positive and negative to it. So I would suggest to take a look on your own intuition as well if you feel connected and resonated to the reading before you make some form of judgment so um yeah let's begin now the first card that we have over here is the hermit card now it's not really the most positive card of the entire deck in tarot because it is a very uh isolating kind of a card especially since we have here the three of swords all together so this can mean that maybe you have encountered some form of life situation especially since this is a relationship reading a love reading though love in itself you know goes through all types of relationships it could be with work it could be with your family it could be with your intimate partner or potential love affair so uh, with the hermit and the three of swords is telling us that there is some form of difficult situation that is surrounding your energy right now I'm not saying that this is a present moment, though it can be. I just kind of feel that there was something that happened in your past, especially since, you know, we have these three cards. Altogether, we have the Hermit, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So there is a lingering energy from the past. It could be that there is something disappointing that has occurred in the past. It could be that there was a breakup even. Some form of separation has occurred, you know, and... I would say that emotionally you're not really that happy, you're not um, satisfied with what's going on. It could also be that you have been reflecting and really thinking about what's been going on with you as a whole, you know, the things that has occurred throughout the year even, you know, especially if you have broken up with someone for such a long period of time. And maybe you don't have any contact with them or maybe the the way that you broke up, the way you separated yourself from someone or a certain situation or someone that is close to your heart has been with a long period of time, but it still stings. You know, there is still something inside of you that's not completely happy because of this scenario. So it doesn't mean that, you know, this is something re very recent. It could be something that has occurred for such a long period of time and it's still bugging you for uh, right now one way or another. Especially since that this is a month wherein you are much more emotional. You are much more in tune with your own feelings. It's easy for you to to really know what you want what you don't want and that is actually a good thing it's just that it's hard for you to ignore the things that you really really want to have it's hard for you to ignore if you truly still love someone and you cannot be with them and or whatever reasons that you have all of those kinds of things so with the seven of pentacles over here this is more about you ref still reflecting on certain things and maybe there are a lot of things that you have been thinking about, especially with a, a, a situation from the past. It could be that maybe you have been very much patient. For some of you, this could be a very waiting waiting card wherein you have been waiting for someone um, to come into your life, but maybe they were not entering your life for some reason. Uh, we are seeing here the Four of Swords. So this whole set of cards is all about the past. It's all about stagnancy. It's all about frustration. 
it's all about disappointment and you know want maybe you have left a situation behind especially with the four of swords over here this is about you i just telling yourself that i just want to take a break i don't want to deal with this so there is that form of energy surrounding this it could be something that you already um have done before however you know it doesn't mean that you are already out of that situation would mean that you don't care i'm seeing here that you really care so much to the point we're in it's still bugging you it's like that feeling we're in um your conscience is kicking in or there's just something inside of you telling you that you need to fix something you know there's something that not giving you some form of complete satisfaction in life this can be also a scenario wherein you could be very much pessimistic but you are um, somehow misunderstanding it with being logical you know so with this harsh energies i kind of feel that there is a strong energy of be being really hard on yourself especially with these seven of pentacles this also has the energy of being very much critical not just with 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 the other person not just with the relationship not just with how you view life itself but you can be very much critical with your own self with how you deal with uh your overall life and your relationships so that has been the, the focal energy point that we're seeing over here now as we enter with the two of wands this is something that you have you are about to embark on let us say and the two of wands is just telling us that you are now about to make a decision in your life this is like you know in lenormand if you do know lenormand's um this is like a crossroad of some kind the imagery and stuff like that though not not all two of wands has this kind of um, image it's just that for this specific um deck that i'm using it gives that crossroad kind of feeling so that that could say that you know you are about to make a decision you're about to to separate yourself from something but with the two of wands in tarot it actually means that you're about to to achieve some form of goal or do some form of goal there's something that you wanted to to move forward with in life and it's actually pretty much of a a, a very positive thing if you would ask me because if in the past you are in the situation we're in you try to forget things you don't want to deal with it you don't want to think about it or maybe you are thinking about it but nothing is ever working out this is a situation wherein you can actually move forward with things you know you're 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 done with a lot of reflection a lot of contemplation and now there's a huge possibility that you can envision what is about to occur in your life you know you can envision what you really want maybe in your past everything was filled with uncertainty and with it with the spread that we have right now it's very much possible that there's a lot of uncertainty a lot of disappointment it's basically telling us that you are now about to enter in a more positive light you're about to enter a more positive feeling you know there is some going to be some form of improvement in the air and you are you can now envision what the future could be like you know and it could be something very personal it could be in the relationship setup i mean i don't know um i just kind of feel that there could be some form of realization a big realization that only comes because you have reflected and i kind of feel that you know even though all of these things are quite harsh all of the all of these are quite um somehow negative i would say it is something that you have to experience you know it is it is something that you you just cannot you cannot tell yourself that you regret doing the things that you have done it's something that you know you're not going to enter a a better path if you did not experience all this so i would say that it is part of your own journey so you have to understand that aquarius so um yeah and what we have over here is the ten of cups and the six of cups so this is gives me giving me an energy wherein you are longing for something maybe you are looking 
and wanting to have a family of your own maybe you are desiring some form of real love and it could be you, know, you want a relationship that you don't have anymore especially since we have the you know we have the surrounding cards of the three of swords and the five of cups over here and then we have the the three of cups sorry the six of cups over here the six of cups has a lot to do with you know harmonies and friendship reconciliation and stuff like that sweethearts old lovers all those kinds of things so when we link everything together it could be you know you are feeling regretful for some a, a, a little bit part of you feels regretful of something you could have but you did not have you know there's a lot of you know lingering feelings a lot of regretful feelings that you are feeling at the same time it is something that is triggering you to 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 want to have that you know if it's something that you have ignored if, if it's something that you try to forget you are now coming to a point wherein i think i'm ready to take action and i think i want to give it a shot once again and i'm not talking about getting back together in a relationship though that can happen i'm just saying that you are facing everything now in a more positive light wherein everything is possible before you feel that before i kind of feel that everything is so negative and bleak to you even though that there are positive things surrounding your energy you just cannot see it you only see darkness and uh, w with this scenario we are, you are now seeing the possibilities of what can really happen the possibilities that um of what you can actually achieve and with the five of pentacles and this is actually a very interesting energy because the five of pentacles is known as a very it's a very um frustrating card but if you would notice that um this card is actually quite unique because um the lady and the child uh yeah the lady and the child are seeking some form of um, shelter because of what they're going through but they're not really noticing the church that is behind them because they're focusing on too much on their worries focusing too much on their problems that they do not see the light they do not see um the positive things that is surrounding them so it's somehow very similar to the message that i want to to share with a lot of you guys and then we also have here the the nine of swords it could also be that you know there a lot of you guys are probably having that form of feeling wherein yes you are regretful you kind of long for something but you don't want to, to to try to want it anymore because of whatever reasonings may be some form of negative thoughts um, coming into your mind you're not seeing the possibility of wanting to to start again in a in a fresh and clean slate but this this reading is basically telling you that it is still possible it is still possible if you're willing to take action to work for it and not just being focused on the frustration of what negativity lies with you especially since the outcome card is actually the nine of swords this is like a very um i would say that maybe you are in a situation where it, you have realized what you want that you might have lost and you're not doing something about it or maybe be, you are at the situation wherein you're having a lot of fears in in it that form of energy but it's telling you that there's still something that you can do about it you know i kind of feel that this is more about real realizing something in a very emotional level but with that realization comes with a lot of fears as well on what should i do i have done this what should i do i have broken something can i still fix it or maybe you're thinking that shit 
the 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 energy of oh my god i cannot <laughs> it's all shut the glass is broken already i mean we cannot fix that you know but as a human being we are able to to really overcome things we are able to to mend to mend things but it takes a person to really initiate you know we have to initiate something to make something happen basically that's that's actually the number one thing that i wanted to to say and express to each and every one of you so not all is uh not all hope is lost basically especially since you know i kind of feel that it's really wonderful that the nine of swords in this deck is not crying is not having a lot of you know negative stuff in which a lot of usual tower cards will depict it's just you being emotional thinking about things realizing certain things but unable to act and i kind of feel that that is something that you need to overcome um this month of december now i did put in a lot of clarifying cards because this is the first time in this whole december forecast i got a, a negative um card and for for a reading for a specific sign so i took in some clarifying cards in lenormand to tell us more about this nine of swords and i'm not even surprised <laughs> what that that we got the mice card the fox card and the and the heart itself this is a situation that gives in a lot of you know mental anxiety to a person especially with the mice and fox this could be you thinking too much this could be you feeling that uh, some something has been taken away or you have already lost the chances. So it's basically everything that I mentioned earlier. You, you might feel that you know there is no hope into this scenario and there could be some form of you know tw I don't know it's like a, a form of situation that is somehow twisted um, twisted form of conclusions that you have um with the matters of the heart with the matters of their relationship i also kind of feel that this is something that may be a situation wherein there could be something very quick you know a quick uh insight can come in the matters of the heart the mice is very fast and very quick and the fox can be you know that really smart little guy that gives you a nudge uh, of some sort so regardless of how this might turn out i kind of feel that you are leading to a new path in life there's going to be a new beginning in a, in the matters of relationships you are going to discover something aquarius there's going to be some form of discovery and it could be relating to something that has been really difficult for you. So facing this again is going to create some form of difficult scenario. Especially since the, the last card of the deck is actually the tower card. So there's like great changes that is going to be happening. Great changes and sudden insights can come. Transformations in terms of your love life and the relationships can actually occur as well. So um, I'll be honest, um, this is going to be a, a difficult, this, is, this has a very difficult energy, I would say, especially if you're not willing to compromise, especially if you're not willing to solve the problem, because we do see that there is a possibility to open the pathway, is, there is a possibility to improve things. But if you're going to, to follow the route of being stubborn or maybe thinking that, um, thinking of your own ego basically, you know, your own ego saying that uh, I cannot be the one to take the initiative, you know, that kind of thing, then truly everything is really going to fall apart. So 
it's really going to be up to you. Basically, I feel that the universe is giving you a signal that there is hope right here, right now. But if you don't grab that chance, you don't know when the chance or opportunity can open up again. It's like that energy we're in. You're not letting go of something, but at the same time, you're not, you know, you're not doing, sorry, you're not doing something, you're not doing something about the situation, but at the same time, you're not letting it go as well, which is not just hard on yourself, but it is also hard with the people involved in the scenario, in the situation of things. So I kind of feel that, you know, with all of the transformation and changes and conclusions that will occur for you for the month of December, there is some form of insight right there that gives you some form of a eureka moment to solve whatever scenario, whatever situations that, that you need to do. This can also be a situation wherein you, there's a lot of fear to move forward with a certain path. Or it could be that to move forward, to do the things that you really want, you need to do something very difficult. And that difficulty is what's really bugging you. But you need to, you know, face the fear and do it anyway. And that is basically what this reading is all about for a lot of Aquarius people out there. There's going to be um, some form of good news we have here. The good news, some form of good news that is to come for you once you get past this phase of uh, burden and, you know, that feeling that you cannot move, you cannot do anything about it. Once you get over that, once you get past that, there is going to be some form of good news, good energy, and improvement that is to come for you. So, um, yeah, there's going to be fast, speedy fast news that can come. This could also be a situation wherein, you know, um, good news, good insights, and this can also move you from a difficult situation to a better uh, future, better outcome in a certain scenario. So, um, yeah, there is really something that you need to do, you need to overcome. And this is not the time for you to be passive. The more that you stay passive, the more that you refuse to do anything, the more that you are going to get yourself in trouble. That's really what I feel for a lot of curse people out there but then again this is a general reading so for me to really know what's really going on for each and every one of you the only way to do that is for a personal reading so please do take this all in with a grain of salt so thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me it has been a long reading i think <laughs> and i do hope that for some people for those who are resonating with this reading you find it insightful and hopefully it gives some form of clarity and you know guidance on what you should do to your situation especially if you are resonating with what's really going on i kind of feel that this is a very complicated reading a very complicated situation with a mix of complicated feelings into them into <laughs> into the mix so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys again next year goodbye